Hi, my name is Cody King and this is my channel, Cody King's World. In this video, I'm going to go over the whole process of me raising my Freedom Ranger chickens. I got 50 Freedom Ranger chicks from a hatchery called Freedom Ranger Hatchery located in Pennsylvania. I placed my order in May and got my chicks June 23rd. They offered non-GMO chicks, so I went with that and it cost me $1.95 a bird. With shipping, I paid $112. I fed them non-GMO, soy-free feed. Some may wonder if it's worth all the time and money to raise your own chickens, and I think it is. The biggest reason why I wanted to do it is the same reason why I wanted to start my own vegetable garden. And that is because most of the food sold at the grocery store is crap. I wanted to raise a healthier chicken that got to live its life outside and not stuck in those industrial chicken houses. By doing so, I believe the chicken will taste better and be loaded with way more nutrients. So if you want to see the process and hear my story on raising my first round of chickens, please stick around. And if you want to see more videos on what else I got going on around here, please subscribe to my channel. Now we are going to bring it back to when I first got the chicks. Just got back home from the post office, picked up my baby chicks. We got 50 Freedom Rangers here. It is day five with the chicks now. And I'm gonna bring them outside, put them inside the chicken tractor, bring the heat lamp out there, set them up outside now. Now, it is in the middle of the summer, so the heat lamp might not really be necessary, but at night, I did feel better having it on. Now, July 2nd, 2022, this is what the Freedom Rangers look like now. They are 13 days old. I just put in eight Jersey Giants that hatched earlier this week. They're like three, four days old. There they are eating away. They really eat a lot of food. It's the cutest thing. All the Jersey Giants. We're all cuddled together. Our Freedom Rangers are three weeks old now. I've had them outside for two weeks. And when I first brought them out, they were sitting over here in this little grass spot here. And I moved it four times over there, and then I moved it over here. They've been here the last three days. And uh, now, I'm gonna move it all the way over here. And the grass, straight ahead there. And I'm gonna move it up there towards the garden. And uh, eventually they're gonna be inside the woods here. So I'm gonna try to start moving it every single day now from here on out, up until I harvest them. For additional security around my cage, I had some chicken wire that I stapled to a piece of wood, and then I just placed it around the uh, outside edge of the, of the cage. And then I just got a bigger piece of wood or something heavy to place on top of it. That way, nothing can dig underneath my cage. Something new that I added to the cage yesterday was this roosting stick here. And uh, I just put a screw one right here, put a screw in here, and then I uh, found a branch in the woods, and then I cut it to length, and then I added it right here in this spot. I have another one right here in the front. Farmers Blend Livestock Feeds is what I've been feeding my chickens, and they have a lot of non-GMO options, and I went with a non-GMO soy-free chick starter. And then after three weeks of feeding them that, I Switch over to this soy-free chicken grower. At this point, they were four weeks old, and I was in the routine of letting the chickens out whenever I'll get home from work. And they would spend about three hours running around. And as they were out of the cage, I would move it 
and put it on a, a brand new spot of grass. I did notice they were getting a little crowded inside of the one cage, so uh, I ended up building a brand new cage and uh, I divided the whole flock in half. I have 28 chickens down in this cage now. I have 29 up there. Five weeks old now. This is what they look like at six weeks old now. They are seven weeks old now. They have been free ranging all day today. It's out and about. That's what the roosters sound like. They've been doing that a lot this week. They are eight weeks old now. get to a pretty good size some are bigger than others they are nine weeks old now and I'm gonna harvest 10 of them this weekend. I ended up harvesting six chickens after week nine. The first three were the hardest, but after that, I started to get the hang of it. On week 10, I harvested 20 chickens, and then I did another seven after week 11. That filled up my 7.5 cubic feet chest freezer. I read that it takes Freedom Rangers nine to 11 weeks to be fully grown and ready to harvest. From my experience, I didn't notice a weight difference from week 9 to week 11. They all weighed about the same. My hens were 3 to 4 pounds, and the roosters were 4 to 5 pounds. Next time, I will try to have all of mine processed before 10 weeks. If you want to see more on how I butcher my chicken, I have a video on my channel going over the whole process. I wasn't really planning on making a video of me butchering my chicken, but since it all went so well, I decided to go ahead and make one. There was a lot of stuff I took out of this video so it wouldn't be so long, but if you're curious on what my grass looks like after running the chicken tractor across it, or how much feed I gave my chicken a day, let me know in the comments below and I will make a video on that in the future. If you have any questions or anything you want to bring to my attention, please leave that in the comments section as well. With all that being said, thank you for watching my video and hearing my story. May all your chicken adventures be everything you hope for.